everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working on the work that I was thinking I was going to be doing yesterday. I was working all day yesterday, but I never got to work on this wall here because uh, my dad came out yesterday and we pretty much got stuck on what we thought was just going to be our morning project. We were finishing up the last of the venting that goes out through the roof for the septic system. Uh, the plumbers refuse to go up on the roof. They're afraid of going up on metal roofs. Uh, they also seem to have an issue with installing pipes that don't leak, and they don't do what they say they're going to do. They only do what they uh, put in writing in the contract. Uh, obviously, they're not my favorite plumbers. I like to think that they're below average because their plumbing's leaking and a bunch of other issues I had with them. According to them, they're actually above average. I don't know, it doesn't really matter when your plumber and your pipes are all leaking and you don't finish the system and you make your customer do it. So anyway, we were doing that. Uh, it was just, it was a little complicated uh, because, uh, you know, as you're putting in black pipe, you put some glue on your fitting, slide a piece in, put glue on the fitting, slide a piece in. And we had to go from one point uh, up through the roof and there were two fixed points and it was kind of hard uh, to get the slide on there. It, it turns out we need to get a rubber collar so we can kind of uh, go around it and, uh, make the whole thing work. We figured it out, but it took a lot longer than we wanted to. And I never got to do the work that I wanted to do today. And I never got to do a video. I was just so frustrated the whole day that it wasn't going that fast. Um, but anyway, I'm back today and uh, just sheathing this wall here. I want to sheath this wall before the roof goes up. The reason for that is because when the roof goes up, it's just going to be hard to work on the upper areas over here. Uh, in particular, because there's going to be a board running across all this and it'd just be hard to get the drill up in there and do all the work. So, uh, also there's some trim that has to go up. Um, so anyway, I want to get this stuff done before we do the, uh, the roof up top. Um, it, it's pretty stri simple, straightforward measure, cut, put them in, screw them in, whatever. But I did want to talk about uh, what's going on in this corner right here. And this is a lesson that I learned from the last homestead. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, this kind of stuff, like boulders, retaining walls and things. I had some of those over at the old homestead by our compost pile. And there was one area in particular where I made the wall pretty close to where there was the angle in the house. These boards are going to come over to about here, and then they're going to cut up. And at the last place, I had the boulder wall maybe within a foot of where that was, and that was too close. Uh, I, I mean, it was fine in the summer when I was putting it together, but in the fall, you know, you get all these leaves and the leaves kind of blow in and they, they kind of accumulate here in a pile. And you, know, you can see the leaves are dry on top, but they're wet on the bottom. And, uh, uh, you know, the, leaf, the leaves will just kind of get up around your, uh, your wood and get it wet. And also in the winter time, you get snow drifts and the snow will kind of drift. Even this is maybe, I don't know, maybe this is even a little bit too close, but if you ever do something like this yourself, make sure that when you are building a retaining wall and you have kind of a place where you're stepping uh, carpentry work, woodwork around it, make sure you give yourself a, you know, a good number of feet. Here we've got almost two feet between these two points. Again, like I said, maybe this could, could even have been expanded a little bit more. But uh, uh, pay some consideration to that because in the summertime, maybe when you're building, it seems like you can cut these things kind of close, but come fall, come winter, you're gonna realize you really wish you could separate those things out. That's it, thanks for watching.